Well, the search for natural gas here and around the world is increasingly high-tech and controversial. One method being used is called fracking, a high-pressure drilling that fractures rocks deep underground to release gas that was previously unaccessible. But there are allegations it causes uh, small earthquakes and pollutes the water table. Well, joining me now to debate this uh, is fracking advocate uh, Bernie Knapp from Stratera and Gisborne District Councillor Manu Kadi, uh, Kadi who's uh, speaking in a personal capacity this morning. Good morning to you both, uh, gentlemen. If I could start with you, Bernie Knapp from Stratera. Uh, this practice ultimately involves pumping uh, high-pressure water, sand, chemicals down into these uh, mines. How can we be so sure that it's not going to cause problems, that there aren't risks to the likes of the water table? Well, it's all about uh, managing the risks. This is an engineering technology. Just to explain, Corin, we're an industry body uh, doing advocacy on behalf of the industry, so we're concerned about informed debate and also that there's appropriate regulation. So what you need to do in terms of the regulation space is to make sure that the fluids going uh, down into the ground in a well are in a well that's appropriately cased with cement and steel. It goes into the rock, you open up the rock to get the gas to flow. And for me, I think the real issue with fracking is what you do when the water comes back out. So it's 98% water, 2% sand. There are some chemicals in there and the concentrations used, uh, it's not toxic. However, you still have to uh, manage the water discharge as you would with a farming operation or pulp and paper or horticulture or anything else, and that will be done with resource consents sure. and you'll be working with the council. So you're managing the risks. Uh, Manu Caddy, you have uh, some concerns. Obviously, there are documentaries. Gas and I think, is one of them out there. There are people raising concerns, particularly in the US, though, with some of the gas and water and those sorts of things. Yeah, sure. I mean, we've got uh, real water issues in New Zealand and Hawke's Bay and Canterbury where fracking is planned. There's uh, farmers that are desperate for that fresh water and we know that uh, there's uh, you know between two and six million litres of water per well and uh, tens of thousands of litres of chemicals. While I say it's a small proportion of the, uh, the water that's, uh, that the chemicals are, are put in, it's a lot of chemicals that then have to be uh, either left in the ground or brought up and, done, and, and Taranaki being spread on farm pasture and then having stock grazed on it. But is there any actual evidence to show that there's been any harmful effects from fracking in New Zealand, in the, well, in no, the Taranaki? Yeah, there's not because there hasn't been any independent research done on, on this issue and that's why we're asking the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment to uh, undertake an independent inquiry and uh, establish um, what the risks are sure. and how safe it is in New Zealand. But, but if I could just jump yes. in though, Corin, um, on the water issue, this is where the issues get easily confused, Manu. So, I mean, uh, that's a freshwater management issue if you're taking water, and that is the same for farming or horticulture or, or any use of water. It has nothing to do with fracking. Now, millions of litres of water, that's like a few Olympic swimming pools, to put that into context. And in terms of the concentrations of the chemicals again, uh, I, I can assure you that the dilution is such that nutrient runoff from farms is a far greater issue to manage on land but Bernie, we have seen, than anything. There has been evidence where gas has emerged in water supplies. I mean, there's the famous ones of people literally lighting their taps. I mean, are they well, just isolated you. cases or is this something we should be worried about? Well, 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 let's talk about gas land. I watched that documentary and unfortunately a lot of it confused the issues. Remember, there's been more than 100 years of oil and gas drilling in the States using all sorts of technology. And the guy who lit his tap water, an official investigation found that the water came from a poorly lined water bore through coal seams. Nothing to do with fracking at all. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that nothing has happened overseas. I'm not saying that. But what I do say is that in New Zealand we have the HASNO Act, the RMA, the Health and Safety and Employment Act, there have been about 40 frack jobs in New Zealand okay. and, and so no incidents with any of them. Yeah. We've Thanks, also got the Taranaki Regional Council who only a couple of months ago after they sought legal advice and were told actually they did need to do it, required resource consents to be issued for fracking. So we don't have confidence in the regulatory regime in New Zealand and that's why we need an independent inquiry. Just finally, Manu, are you worried about it? We, we know that it causes low level earthquakes. Are you worried about that? I think they, they, you know, there's, there's risk there, particularly if they're doing it in Canterbury, but I don't think that's the main issue in this case. It's the quality of the water that comes out and what we do with polluted water that's going to be around for generations to okay. deal with. OK, I have to leave it there, gentlemen, but thank you very much. I'm sure this debate will continue. Uh, Bernie Knapp there from Stratera, the uh, mining industry group, and Manu Caddy, Gisborne District Councillor. Of course, there was some news too. Uh, Labor this morning had announced, has announced that it, will, it would, if elected, hold an inquiry, uh, some sort of parliamentary inquiry, mm -hmm. just to see if, if there is some evidence or, or what evidence there is if, of any concern.
concerns around fracking. So we would check it out before we started doing it. That no, we're doing wise. it already. Oh, okay, good. That's the fracking in Taranaki you were talking about.